Good morning, Muscle Car Corner. It's Friday, Meekum Summer Show 2023. Just going to bring you some of these cars that uh, are still under the tent waiting to run today. I won't talk much. I'll just go ahead and run through them. This car has a protecto plate with it, which is important. It designates the car what it is and the original owner. That's unusual, a trailer hitch on this. Who's gonna pull something with this? That's kind of crazy. These wheels work really well on it. This blue with the blue interior and the white inserts, really sharp. Nice job on the underside of the hood. Beautiful detail on this. We got a mixed bag of stuff here today. Wow, look at this. What the heck is that? You talking about futuristic looking. It's a Tesla, 24 Tesla. They put all the camouflage on it. That's crazy. Never seen one of these. It's like something right out of a space movie. Well, kind of a cool looking uh, Tesla. It's one I've never seen. Woody's Speed Shop. Now here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Beautiful. 66 GTO. 389 Tri-Power. Car looks so well in black. It's just beautiful. This car is one of my first builds with a friend of mine across the street where we grew up. He had 66 Tempest black with red interior. And so we made it into a DTO clone. Craigers on it. We went through the motor and put a. Uh, Gosh, if I remember correctly, we did a 389 and it had a hypo heads. We put a three quarter race cam in it. And it was a four speed Muncie. And uh, we used to terrorize the streets with that thing. We pulled the motor on, up under a tree uh, and had a big hoist and got it all out, rebuild it, put it back in. We were only 15 years old, 14, I think I was. Man, we had some fun with that car, boy. Tom, if you're listening, this thing brings back some memories here, boy. Good stuff. Three two barrels. Nice. This 55 is really done up nice.
six four speed this is kind of automatic. Yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, a lot of cars are already up by the staging area. I'm going to head that way here shortly. Let's go through this other tent real quick, see what we have. Got a lot of oddball stuff here besides muscle cars. This auction. Oh, I see something I wanted to see. Old Barracuda with a mod top on it. Looks like the top's original on it. No, it's been replaced. Sixty-nine Barracuda Mod Top, one of nine hundred thirty-seven produced. Three eighteen. It's got a Motor Motorola 8-track player. It's got the original broadcast sheet showing that it had the mod top on it. I'm going to do a separate video on this car. It's, it's rare. The interior matches the mod top. Let's take a look. It's rare. I think a wo this might be a woman's car with a color and the uh, luggage rack and the mod top. I tell you, there was a lot of people that weren't brave enough to order these mod tops back in the day. Because <laughs> it was just a funky thing back in 69. But what wasn't crazy back in 69, you know? Ooh, look at that 8-track player still in there. Neat. Super sweet. That's cool, man. Well, Must Car Corner bringing you a uh, Barracuda Mod Top. 69 Barracuda Mod Top. 318 car. Beneath it had 340. It was a Formula S. Or a 3D3 Formula S. Car's been well preserved, pretty neat. Double red line tires, never seen those. Yeah, cool. I'll go back and get a complete video on that one. So walk on back through this tent, head on up towards the staging area. Just a beautiful Z28 here. This thing's only got uh, a thousand eight miles on it out of the low mileage collection it's a brand new z28 basically just the way it came uh, k car with low mileage wow that's a bargain this car should have gone to the junkyard when they came came out the off the uh, production line. 
at Chrysler. I'm just saying. Real POS. These are all the low mileage collection. Like, look at this old Cadillac. 26,991, 26,000 miles. Ooh, Pontiac, 13,000 miles on this. A Granville convertible. That's a pretty rare car inside itself. Big kitty. Well, like I said, they got a bunch of, bunch of different stuff here. I'm not too thrilled about this year at this auction. I'm here. I got to make the best of it and get all the cars I possibly can. This is kind of neat, this pickup truck. 55, looks like. They put uh, Panther Pink on it. Narrow Durand. 327. They painted the bumpers color keyed the bumpers to the outer body it's kind of cool it's a 58 hmm. pretty cool little truck big block vet 68, 390 horse, 427, single four barrel. Go ahead and walk all the way up to the staging lanes and film it while I'm going. It is hot today, man. I don't know how long I'm gonna last in this heat today. Third day. It's been brutal. Putting about 14,000 steps a day in here. Try to keep keep in shape. I love this Z28. 70 and a half split bumper Z28. That's an RS as well. Odometer range 9,000 miles. Mm. Very cool. Beautiful. This Imperial, that's wild. 413 in it. 59 Imperial. Love the fins on it. That's a lot of car there, boy, I tell you. Nice little T-Bird. Oh yeah, now this, I love this thing. This Nomad is so cool. This color just turns it on tremendously. The color key, the valve covers to the outer body and top of the air cleaner. This thing's amazing. You put these candy apple colors on these nomads, they look super, super cool. If I was gonna do one, this is the color I would do it in. I've never done a candy apple green color keyed the uh, steering wheel as well. Late model gauges. Wow. This thing is all that in a bag of chips, I tell you. Just a tough looking wagon. That's a beautiful piece. Oh, I love these. It's a 90 SS 454.
attempt to 2,800 miles out. Looks like it. It's in unbelievable condition. Looks like original paint and everything on it. 2,800 miles. I looked at those when they first came out. I fell in love with them. I built a 87 S10 with a 350 in it. Based off of this, I did black. I put SS 350 on it on the, front of, on the side of the doors and it was low slung. I really enjoyed that truck. My dad ended up getting that truck from me and driving it for many years. Nice little Lambo. Sixty-six Super Sport Chevelle. A little rough on the outside. This is Marlin. Seventy-five thousand miles on an original Marlin Rambler. Not that I'm a Marlin fan, but these cars were just funky. It's one of. 2300 they made. It had a unique design on the ass end and the, the quarters. Pretty cool. It just definitely had a look to it, man. For a Rambler, it had that. <clears throat> they named it after a fish like uh, Plymouth did with a Barracuda. They thought it would fly, and it didn't. Let's take a look at the motor in this Marlin. If I can get the damn hood open. No, I can't get the hood open. Anyway, there's a Rambler Marlin. Rare piece. Nice Ferrari. 90 Testarossa. Z06 with 6,400 miles. I tell you what, I love these C5 Z06s. I've owned one for 13 years, and it's it's a great buy for the money you spend on these cars. I did a lot of work to mine. It's nowhere it resembles anything like this stock, but. I do have a video on my uh, YouTube channel that being dynoed. Four twenty-seven sixty-nine vet. Four thirty-five horse. Four twenty-seven. These are another great buy as well. 1206 with 3,400 miles. These cars are a lot of fun. That's what I'm talking about right here. Mopar Action. Beautiful GTX 440 convertible. V5 Blue. 
the white top and light blue interior. It's a striking combination on this car. 68 GTX. Doesn't stink. How much? I mean, how many they made? I think there's a little over 1,200 made in 68. Man, I love that GTX. Wow, look at this coupe. Or sedan delivery. This is wild. Man. What a build here, I tell you. A 34 Ford Custom de Sedan Delivery. It's got 350 in it. Man. Chopped and topped and Chop the top. Wow. Take it all in. This is an amazing piece here, boy. Just amazing. Well, yeah, Car Corner, I'm going to leave you with this... Uh, Sedan delivery, amazing build on this thing. Must car corner sign out, heading up to the uh, staging area. Stay tuned for more.